Then Orange is the New Black. Is that the one that got canceled? No, Deck of Cards. House of Cards. <laughs> Deck of Cards. I don't watch fucking TV, bro. I'm too busy getting swole. <laughs> kind of fruff, like maybe just a little down, but kind of like an Afro Mohawk. Why? Why not? Make a statement. This is time to warm up. The warming up's the worst. I just wanna lift weights. I don't even wanna do that. I just wanna drink caffeine and play Call of Duty, which comes out this Friday. Find me on Twitch, link in the description. Hey, if you guys wanna come hang out, I'll be streaming for hours. Twitch, I don't know the name, so you have to click the, the link in the description. I'll leave it as a, a comment too, pinned at the top. Um, I don't know if you subscribe or follow or do whatever you want there. So you get notified when I'm on. Uh, I'll also put it on Instagram when I'm live. There should be uh, hopefully a couple hours every single day as soon as the game comes out and as soon as, soon as I'm done with Stranger Things too. Is it good? Dude, my man Kai Green. Shout out Kai Green's in it. Is he? He is. That's cool. You didn't see that? No. Nah. He's got like a real part. Yuri Belkin, come into my soul. If you guys think that me and Yuri Belkin are related, and even the 0.0001% comment below, Silent Belkin, maybe we'll get him, maybe I'll go to Russia, and I'll lift with him and Gregory. What are the chances that Gregory knows Belkin? That's the dumbest lift of all time. Hands down, dumbest lift of all time. How much does he weigh? He, he, like 225. He's like a real 220. Beltless. People are like, oh, thick plates. Like, fuck, bro. <laughs> he had like another 80 pounds in him. He just fucking crushed it. Another person going nuts in the strong strength world, Thor. He's going for a thousand pound squat. Majority of strongmen are kind of known. We'll talk to Alan. We'll see Alan Thrall's thoughts. Our, in my head, strongmen don't power lift or cannot power lift uh, or keep up with a Lilla Bridge or a Dan Green or whatever because of their squat. If, if you had to, whatever. Uh, but have you seen Hap Thor lately? I saw one uh, squat. Well, what, I think he did like 881 for five, 930 for three. Uh, and then it, he wrote that he had a plan to do 980 or something this week. But I think his goal is 7,000 something. I thought tall guys can't squat. Dude, he's 6'6". No, he's, he's like 6'9". Dude, they all fucking pull 1,000. But if you could, because if, if, if Thor could squat 1,000, bench high fives, maybe even 6, and then pull even close to 1,000 on a powerlifting meet, like that's... 1,000, 1,000? I don't even know if someone's done 9 and 9 in a meet. The only one that maybe could was uh, Eric, and I don't think he has. Because Milanichev hasn't. Maybe Punch Nugget can. Punch Nugget! Punch Bucket! You seen Shaq's dances lately? So good. No. <laughs> he's been fucking crushing, have you? Oh no. Dude, he's so good. Kish Patel. Oh, you give him a shout out, huh? Give him a shout out. Kish Patel 96. How do I work on my deadlift whilst being able to still hit my goals? What the hell is your goals? Do we have any reference? Just a bigger deadlift? So, yeah, maybe you mean, maybe he wants to deadlift 600 and that's his goal, but how does he actually work on like technique and things? Uh, as I've preached many a time here, kind of some maximal training, so. Obviously there's a time and place to peak and get ready for lifting heavy weights to test your one rep max or to compete in competition is, you know, powerlifting is, is the sport of representing your one rep max true strength on a given day. Um, 
Similar to bodybuilding, you want to bring your best physique on like one hour of one day. It's not about being jacked all the time or who's most jacked in the off season or who lifts the most deadlift on a random day. It's a particular day. So with your test and your ultimate strength, it's probably the same. Submaximal training, we're doing the majority of our stuff, you know, 55 to maybe 75% of our, our one rep max. Will allow us to work technique, train enough volume, and get the repetitions over and over and over to perfect what we're doing. And then when it's time to peak, we can push up into the 80, 85, 90%. Uh, and then give it a go. So if that's what you're asking, that's what I suggest. Um, some free templates in the, in the description below as always if you're confused on programming. Um, but technique is uh, obviously key for longevity, key for staying healthy, um, and key for lifting the most amount of weight. So constantly, um, hopefully you're not training near the one rep max all, this, all the time 24-7, uh, and then that way you can uh, perfect your technique. Uh, training too heavy, it's just hard to work on your technique when you're training one, one rep max. People message me like their, their PR and like, hey, how'd that look? I'm like, well, it looks slow and it looked pretty shitty because it was your one or max. So we want to be able to emulate the 70% form at 100. And the only way to do that is repetition. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Good advice for new power lifters. Take your time, slow your fucking roll, focus on technique, get involved, uh, whether that means even going to watch a powerlifting meet, um, help spot and load, uh, find a coach. Punch Nuggy, get serious, what are you trying to do? Yeah, get involved. Uh, if you go to a meet and just watch or hang out, maybe you'll find a cool coach or a training partner. Um, and that way you get around like-minded individuals and you'll be able to progress quicker. Uh, doing it on your own is possible. Many people got strong by themselves in a garage and one squat rack, um, but you can learn a lot faster accelerated learning uh, by being around those more experienced than you. Do some research. YouTube's a great spot. Instagram's an okay spot. The internet's an amazing resource. Continue learning, continue pushing. Uh, I know that nothing awesome happens overnight and nothing awesome happens post 12 p.m. got the playlist this is like this is what like 50s 60s I feel it's like 50s or 40s because last time uh, you were playing like the Vietnam I think you had Led Zeppelin on or something that was like the Vietnam era that was more like you know the war just ended or wars going on playlist this is just before that we're happy again weird shit hasn't happened in a while they brought back alcohol prohibitions over everyone's happy there's a history lesson for you kids Who's to say YouTube isn't informational? Someone asked, would you ever do equipped lifting? A what? Equipped lifting? So I've been in some briefs. Back in the days, the dizzies, before you little kids were touching barbells. I, I put on some briefs for some squats, some pulls. Never got a bench shirt. Didn't, never once has it ever looked fun to me. Uh, mad props to the people that used to do it. Mad props to the people that are still doing it. My man Bryce, Calgary Barbell, still crushed single ply squats, you know, pulling. 8.30 for reps, squatting, 8 or 9. Um, not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. If you could go back to the beginning of your training, what would you change? 
I've talked about this a couple times, but uh, main thing for me probably was um, to like elongate my goals where I was like, I want to be lean, but I want to get strong, but I want to be this and I want to be that, but I still want to be athletic. Um, choose one or two, because one or two can be uh, chased down at the same time, especially when you're newer. Um, and think more like four, six, eight, 12 months goals, and then switch routes. Um, don't chase too many, uh, too many goals at once. Don't ride uh, you know, multiple horses with one ass kind of deal. Um, I, I would have been further along uh, strength-wise and physique-wise if I would have just chased it down, really, rather than you know four or five years, uh, I kind of just went like this the whole time, rather than making gains, leaning out, making gains, leaning out. So, um, Punch Nuggy's a good example. Kid's young. He's probably under 23 for all I know, uh, and he's just kicking it at 220, 230 pounds of body weight, worrying about his strength. Uh, and then when he reaches 25, 30 years old, he can always lean out if he wants, and he'll build that base of not only strength but muscle that'll that'll carry on for a long time. It's time to go do a photo shoot. We're heading downtown to some walls. Maybe we'll get some B-roll if you guys want some fancy shots of this. Appreciate you. Thumbs up. Bunch more informational videos. Bunch more training coming. We're going to go explore Sacramento a little bit.